Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to measure the wavelength, frequency and speed of waves in a solid. And this is part two of the required practical on waves. Again you need to make certain that you learn the details as this may come up in your exam. In the last video we saw how to measure the features of water waves in a ripple tank. In this video we're measuring the features of waves in a solid. To do that we use this apparatus. We've got a string with one end attached to a vibration generator. At the other end of the string we've got a hanging mass and the mass keeps the string taut. The vibration generator is attached to a signal generator and the signal generator allows us to change the frequency of vibration of the string. So when we turn on the power the string vibrates. Now it's extremely difficult to see those vibrations. However at a certain frequency we get a wave like this. This is called a standing wave and that's due to an effect called resonance. I should point out that in the exam you will not be required to explain how standing waves or resonance happen. Now we find standing waves in stringed musical instruments such as a guitar. We're going to measure the wavelength of this standing wave and to do that we use a ruler like this. We need to measure the total length of the standing wave from the wooden bridge to the vibration generator. In this case the length is 21.5 centimeters, in other words 0.215 meters. We can now use this to calculate the speed of the wave and to do that we need to use the wave equation which we saw in a previous video. The wave speed equals the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. We read the frequency from the signal generator. Let's say that in this case the frequency is 10 Hz and we know that the wavelength is 0.215 meters. Multiplying 10 by 0.215 gives us a wave speed of 2.15 meters per second. Now if we go back to our standing wave, what happens if we increase the frequency? Well at a certain frequency the standing wave changes to this. In this case we now have three half wavelengths and I'm showing those here. Now it may seem strange having half a wavelength but that is possible on a standing wave like this. So how do we calculate the wavelength of this wave? Well as we saw before the distance from the wooden bridge to the vibration generator is 0.215 meters. To calculate the wavelength we need to divide the total length by the number of half wavelengths and then multiply by 2. So the distance is 0.215 meters. Dividing 0.215 by 3 and then multiplying by 2 gives us a wavelength of 0.143 meters. The frequency used to create this wave was 15 Hz, so I'd like you to calculate the wave speed. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, to calculate the wave speed, we multiply the frequency by the wavelength. Multiplying 15 by 0.143 gives us a wave speed of 2.15 meters per second to two decimal places. So as you can see, the wave speed of the string does not depend on the frequency or the wavelength. In fact, the wave speed depends on the tautness of the string and the mass per centimeter. Now in the exam, you could be shown any standing wave and asked to calculate the wavelength. I'm showing you some examples here. So again, to calculate the wavelength, you need to divide the total length by the number of half wavelengths and then multiply by two. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on this required practical in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 